Welcome, my friends. How are you? i am uh, got a little ritual going for us today for the, um, the drawing of the moon uh, for today is July 1st and we've got a full moon in uh, Capricorn and at the end of July we also will have a um, full moon in Aquarius and that is called a blue moon month where two full moons are in one moon cycle uh, in, in one calendar month rather and we have 13 moon cycles and I'm going to add to this link the goddess video I made for the 13 moon cycles. But, um, so the 13 candles represent that and then the two in the front represent the pairing for whatever beauty you want to invoke and beseech to the goddess, okay, for this drawing of the moon. And it's, it doesn't take much time, but it does take all your heart and soul, <laughs> okay. <laughs> So, but it's a wonderful time, and why not? We've got this double whammy of. Okay, oh. I was. Uh, I'm on the on the cell phone here, so I um, am limited um, in some time. But I will continue to move forward then. And yes, we have a blue moon month, and I brought out my spirit of the wheel cards to get just a little basic. Uh, gender here but we have the blue moon month here so I'll read about the mastery and the recognition and evolution of that and then we also have the strong sun moon uh, card which uh, is receptive for now regarding the summer solstice towards July 22nd okay and that's about social invitations creative pursuits joy so you see all about the Venus, okay, the mastery, the evolution of, you know, the goddess energy and bringing in the joy and with a Jupiter aligning, it's just, it's beautiful. So what um, that reads for the blue moon, key words, mastery, recognition, evolution, and the prophecy, the blue moon. And here, I'll put it like this so we can get the fire in the background. Okay. The blue moon card is also known as the 13th moon. This card represents achievement at the highest level. Two moons occurring within the same cycle means double the energy, influence, and power available to you at this time. This is a perfect opportunity for you to achieve mastery in some area of your life. The blue moon denotes some kind of recognition for your gifts and abilities. Material gain is indicated with this card as it signifies abundance on all levels. Self-empowerment is occurring, even though you may be fearful of the transition. The blue moon's influence brings synchronicity, and it seems as if things just come easier for you now. You may very well feel the energy of the wolf spirit around you. Let's see. With the wolf spirit around you. As the teacher and pathfinder, the wolf can assist you greatly in this auspicious time. Become the master and allow your dreams and visions to be actualized. Become the magicians, my friends, and allow your dreams and visions to be actualized. You have worked hard, so accept it. Accept the recognition that goes with the blue moon. You deserve it! Exclamation mark. And the prayer is... As I move more fully into my own power, I open my heart to the recognition I deserve. I thank Great Spirit and all of those who have helped me along the way. I am ready to be the master and to fully accept abundance in my life. Wonderful, wonderful. And we've got some goddess cards here that I'm going to pick. But first I want to uh, bring into the drawing of the moon. So I'd like to read about that. So let me just begin that. I'm just going to read. There's a couple of paragraphs I'd like to read uh, coming from the Witch's Lore, the Book of Shadows. So this is witcheslore.com, their Book of Shadows regarding the drawing down of the moon. Okay, and this was written, oops, I'm sorry, I'm trying to, uh, was written in uh, 2011, November 22nd, so it's wild, but 
um, I think it'll do us justice right now and I have some sea salt water uh, there for more purification of the table I just picked some um, plumeria uh, plants that grow now I have and these are all the shells I've collected throughout the race so you know this is my love I have and of course the crystals are all here and that's the spirit world deck so it's all just beautiful okay and get out to this full moon and and make sure you can do these rituals and i say you could do this any day for the next 30 days because we've got that other powerful moon coming so just do it my friends okay anytime you want to anytime just be serious about it drawing down the moon also known as, known as drawing down the goddess is a highly relevant and beautiful ritual in which the energy of the goddess symbolized by the moon is invoked the goddess is then drawn into the person who is conducting the ritual within a coven the high priestess invokes the goddess and the spirit of the goddess then enters the high priestess this ritual can also be performed with the assistance of the high priest who invokes the spirit of the goddess into the high priestess in some covens the high priestess meditates upon the goddess and enters a trance the high priestess then speaks and acts as the goddess. In classical times, ancient Thessal Thessalian witches were believed to control the moon according to an old tract. In quotes, if I command the moon, it will come down, and if I wish to withhold the day, night will linger over my head, and again, if I wish to embark on the sea, I need no ship, and if I wish to fly through the air, I am free from my weight. Uh, that was a quote found uh, in ancient Greeks and Romans believed that witches had a direct link to lunar energies and had the power to draw down the moon. Okay, so uh, continuing the name, drawing down the moon is said to have come from a depiction of two women and the moon on an ancient Greek vase believed to date from the second century before Christ. So that's, you know, 5,000 years ago. When a solitary witch performs this ritual is done during a full moon and within a circle. The solitary witch assumes the goddess pose. Both arms are held high up, palms up. The body and arms form a Y. The witch then enchants to invoke the goddess spirit by drawing down the moon. You are filling yourself with divine white light and absorbing the energy of the goddess. A drawing down the moon invocation is most powerful during the full moon. It is a way of drawing light into yourself. It can be healing, inspiring, and spiritually enlightening. Although men and women can conduct this ritual, many women find that by drawing down the moon and connecting with the power of the goddess, they are able to connect with the power within themselves. And how to draw down the moon? Cleanse your space and cast the magic circle. Again, my friends, you know, you must have your house clean, okay? You got to do that cleansings, cleansings. Stand facing the full moon. You may be outside or inside, whatever you prefer, as long as you have a clear view of the moon. Acknowledge the moon and give thanks Send loving energy up to her and out into the universe. Stand for a few minutes breathing the lunar energies. Calm yourself and still your breathing. Completely relax and clear your mind. And see if you've been practicing on your meditations and your, you know, half hour or day to an hour stillness. Uh, this will come natural, these kind of rituals, okay? Stand with your arms stretched out, birds forming a chalice above your head. Keep your feet close together. Rub your hands together. Take a deep breath and again assume the chalice position. Invoke the energy of the goddess using any words you choose, or you may wish to chant, quote, I invoke the energy of the goddess, unquote, three times. I invoke the energy of the goddess. I invoke the energy of the goddess. I invoke the energy of the goddess. Then again, you may want to remain silent and send the spiritual message to the goddess. Concentrate on the image of the moon, of that beautiful Luna, our beautiful Luna, C 
See the moonbeam streaming downwards. Feel the light pouring into your body and filling your entire being, mind, body, spirit. Feel yourself become the goddess incarnate. Once you have drawn down the moon, you are ready to engage in any form of magic work you choose. You will be energized by the goddess connection and feel her influence. Fabulousness. All right, so I brought out the goddess card, so I would like to also, um, um, and I'm going to put the blue moon back in here only because if it comes out again with the sun, you know, we know that they want us to pay attention okay pay attention pay whippy you know what this one just kind of flew out so that's going to be one and then i'll pick number two okay so we've got two cards there and then we'll pick one and two of the goddess and then we'll make that the earth air fire water four cards and we are the spirit beings who will attach our positive selves to it okay and the first goddess is look at that called ventina purification it is time for cleansing detoxification of your body and mind now wasn't that wonderful and i just did that purification ritual for the summer solstice my friends okay so let's pray to the goddesses okay the 13 moon cycle we've got a blue moon now Pray, pray to the goddess and do your purifications. I mean, what does that take out of your time? And it's all about healing and beautiful healing, okay? Beautiful healing. Ostara, look at that fertility. It is the perfect time for you to start new projects, access new ideas, and give birth to new conditions. Uh, I believe with Venus conjecting Jupiter, that would be an uh, affirmative. <laughs> Oh my goodness gracious, look at the beauty, look at that. Look at the goddess energy, so gorgeous. She's here to bring beauty, my friends, beauty, love, Venus. What a man needs most is to be trusted, beautiful, beautiful. What a woman needs most is someone to listen to her feelings. There you go, a little give and take and show the love. Thunderbird clan, wow imminent change life force rebuilding beautiful look at the ego we've got a full moon there <gasps> wonderful the thunderbird clan you know it's number seven that chariot number again uh, there's a thing native american wisdom talks about the thunderbird which i uh, it's at the top of my but i don't want to say it and i say something wrong I'm, i'll have to type it in the video bottom rest and cleansing moon balanced relationships self-expression boundaries okay see cleansing cleansing okay cleansing cleansing there we go cleansing purification let's do it my friends okay get outside watch that full moon tonight okay Keep watching every day. Just watch even the new moon. Just work every day. If you want something to ignite and happen for yourselves, call upon the goddess. She's here, okay? Here, 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 here. And show the love, okay? We can do this. Yes, we can. Call on Venus. She's in the house. <laughs> Much love to you. May your wishes come true. Remember, dream big. Dream big for those extraordinary. And just... Just do it, my friends, okay? It, it, it doesn't take much time. 15 minutes, 20 minutes, an hour, a day. Think positive. Much love.